An anti-terrorism court in Karachi acquitted former Malir SSP Rawan War and 17 others in the Nakibullah Mahsood murder case. In its brief verdict, the court said that the prosecution had failed to submit sufficient evidence against Anwar and other accused persons. The court took five years to conclude the trial of the murder, which had triggered widespread condemnation and debates on social media about fake counters in Karachi, particularly by Rawan War. The killing of Mesud, an aspiring model from South Waziristan residing in Karachi, stormed social media with public outcry and sparked countrywide protests by civil society against the state's failure to arrest the former SSP and his team. Anwar, along with his around two dozen subordinates, were charged with the killing of Nakib and three others after allegedly dubbing them militants linked to the Islamic State and Taliban in a fake encounter on 13 January 2018. In March 2019, the court had indicted Anwar and his 17 subordinates for the killing of four men on the outskirts of Karachi. Pakistan suffered a huge power cut earlier today following a breakdown in its national grid, leaving millions of people without electricity. Power was out in all the country's major centres including Karachi, Islamabad as well as Lahore and Peshawar. Energy Minister Khuram Dastagir said the grid failure followed a frequency variation in southern Pakistan, insisting this was not a major crisis and power would be back soon. We have और नेशनल ट्रांसमिशन डिस्पैच कंपनी की पूरी टीम जो है पूरे मुल्क में हम इस पर इस वक्त पूरी तवज्जो के साथ फोकस के साथ और मेहनत के साथ काम कर रहे हैं और मुझे तवक्को है अल्लाह ताला हमारी मदद करे कि इंशाल्लाह आज रात तक पूरे मुल्क में बिजली का निजाम बहाल हो जाएगा हमें कुछ रुकावटें आई हैं पिछले चंद घंटों में लेकिन इंशाल्लाह हम अपने आजम से और कोशिश से और महारत से उन रुकावटों पर काबू पाएंगे Dastagi said that the country's transmission system had not been affected but explained that electricity was required to get power plants and dams up and running. Meanwhile, Prime Minister Shabazz Sharif took strong notice of the power breakdown in the country and constituted a high-level committee to probe the cause for the incident. The Premier sought an urgent report from the Energy Minister on this matter. He stressed on uncovering the reason behind the power breakdown and pinpointing those responsible. State Bank of Pakistan Governor Jamil Ahmed announced that the Monetary Policy Committee had decided to increase the interest rate by 1%, taking it to 17%. He made the announcement in a press conference following the committee's meeting. The increase was largely in line with the market expectations. The GDP growth has been seen in the past. और कमेटी का ये ख्याल था कि इस वक्त हमें जो महंगाई के लिए जो जो इस वक्त एक्सपेक्टेशंस हैं उनको एंकर करने के लिए एक फीसद का आधाफा जो है वो नागजीर है और इसलिए कमेटी ने ये 16 परसेंट से बढ़ाकर इसको 17 परसेंट कर दिया है। the state bank chief noted the central bank had previously predicted that the current account deficit would clock in at $10 billion this year. The state bank governor also gave a breakdown of the country's financing requirements. He recalled that in a December 8 podcast that he had said financing requirements for fiscal year 23 stood at $33 billion. Of these, the current account deficit stood at $10 billion, followed by loan repayments, both bilateral and multilateral, at $23 billion. The state bank governor iterated the exchange rate was market-based and fluctuations happened within market parameters. The pressure on the rate was below normal due to administrative measures to curb imports. 45 PTI lawmakers collectively withdrew their resignations from the National Assembly on orders of party chairman and former Prime Minister Imran Khan. PTI leader Asad Omar, while announcing the development on Twitter, said that the lawmakers have sent emails in this regard to Speaker Raja Parvez Ashraf. The decision was taken after the Speaker refused to accept all the resignations together. Meanwhile, PTI leader Fawad Chaudhary said that the decision was taken so that the party could take back the post of the leader of the opposition and parliamentary party leader. He added that the aim of the move was to get rid of the fake National Assembly opposition leader and prevent turncoats from voting for Prime Minister Shabazz Sharif in the vote of confidence. After Sidhuma's announcement, PTI lawmakers staged a sit-in outside the National Assembly Speaker's house demanding that their request should be immediately accepted. 
the motive for a shooting that killed 10 people celebrating the Lunar New Year in California remained unclear on Monday, the day after the alleged gunman shot himself dead as police moved to arrest him. An intensive manhunt began late on Saturday after a man opened fire inside a dance studio and club in Monterey Park, a city near Los Angeles with a large Asian community. Witnesses said he had shot indiscriminately and appeared to have a lot of ammunition. Five men and five women were killed, most in their 50s and 60s, police said, with around 10 others injured. The suspect, identified by police as 72-year-old Hu Kan Tran, then went to another dance venue at a short distance away, but was tackled and disarmed by people at the club before fleeing. Los Angeles County Sheriff Robert Luna said over the following hours, police tracked a wanted van which was later reported in Torrance, several miles south. When police approached, they heard one gunshot from within.